Outside, the storm rages. And in this episode, a bigger storm is about to rage. All Might versus All for One. Who will win? Who knows? But I have faith in our boy All Might. I have faith that he will go beyond. Let's get started, shall we? So hey there guys, what's going on? It's the Cartoon Kitty here. We're back here with My Hero Academia, Season 3, Episode 11. Apparently, uh, you guys said that this episode is going to be pretty crazy. It was despite my thoughts that, you know, this episode was going to be pretty quiet considering last episode was insane. You guys are like, oh no, you better, you better grab your tissue box. You, you, you better, you better get your water because this episode's going to be lit. I know, I know. You might be asking, what's different about me? And that's right, guys. All of your suspicions have been confirmed. I'm actually Neo from Ruby. I, I don't, I don't, that's, that's an outdated joke considering I don't even watch Ruby anymore. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm in a weird mood today, guys. I'm kind of sick. Um, I had lost my voice and I'm still coming back. But I really needed to react to this episode, so I'm just going to go with it, do the best I can um, to make sure that this episode is up to par with my normal standards. But if I'm a little quieter than usual, blame the cold, it's bad timing. But yeah, I figured I would dress up a little bit more for this one, attempt to use this wig that I bought a while back, but I never actually ended up using. And I don't know, it kind of, I think it kind of blends well with my hair. You guys will have to tell me down in the comments. Um, but. I couldn't find any of my, like, my goggles or any of my superhero attire that I used last time, so I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? I gotta make myself look cool with this one, so... Yes, guys, I'm eager to get into this, and I know, um, the trailer for the My Hero Academia movie just dropped as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here as sort of like a beginning thing before we get the episode started so you guys want to just skip straight to the episode i'll leave a time mark here for you guys where you can do that and as always guys these links will be in the description below if you want to watch them for yourself um to help support the series and the team uh and watch them for yourself as well so you can watch the actual episode though on crunchyroll funimation uh hulu itunes and verve um that way you know we can give our support to the series Let's take a look at this movie trailer because, uh, <laughs> if you know a little thing about me, I'm, uh, pretty excited for this. I really want to see it in theaters, and hopefully, if it does come to my theaters, I will be able to meet a bunch of other My Hero Academia fans. So, yeah, let's check out this trailer. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, hi, David. Oh, he's the costume designer. Oh, really? Why? Oh, she's so cute! Uh oh. Oh, All Might looks so cool when his eyes are open. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm getting so much hype right now. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that looks awesome. Yo, so we're going to get to meet another quirkless. I don't know if she's a hero. I mean, it says two heroes, so. You know, she's going to either become a hero in the movie or she's going to already be a hero. But, oh, that was exciting. A lot of people are speculating in the uh, picture 
of the, you know, the movie picture that she was going to be like a villain or something like that. But it looks like, according to this, she's not. And she wants to be a hero as much as Deku. So, oh, it'll be nice to see that. It'll be nice to see Deku sort of get along with another quirkless person because it's not very common in their society, at least from what I remember. Um, which will be cool. That means that Deku's going to have another person to talk with and... I'm sure he's going to feel a little bit guilty because he has All Might's power, but I'm sure he'll get over it and she'll become a hero in her own way as well. I'm excited for that. That looks fun. That looks like it's going to be a good movie and hopefully it will. I mean, the My Hero Academia franchise hasn't let me down yet, but you never know. So uh, yeah, I have high hopes for the movie and if I get to see it in theaters, I will definitely try to keep you guys in the loop and maybe even get some of my reactions to it. Who knows? Hey, that's what Deku said. He must be talking to the previous one for all. <laughs> you know, no, it's so weird seeing this. What's going on? What's going on? Let's get into this. Okay, good, they did all get away. <laughs> yes, I think. Yes. I hope so. I mean, All Might's kind of already damaged, so. <laughs> She's really pretty. Oh man, I've never seen him so angry. No! I hate you! Uh oh! Uh oh! <sighs> Thank goodness you're still okay, Gran Torino. <sighs> Yikes! Ah, uh, this music is so creepy. The fear is really spreading. Oh no. It's... oh... Oh boy, oh boy. All Might's really going to have to pour card. Oh no. Oh, he's so creepy. <laughs> I forgot to move my chair out of the way. I hope I do not have to watch that. If I do, I'm not gonna survive. Oh no, oh no! Ah! <laughs> 
Oh no! Right! Oh no! Oh no! That's right! He's over his limit! Oh. I'm right there with you, Deku! It only matters that he can still beat you. So what if it is? Oh, that's serious like in his eye. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, grandson. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, that's cruel. Oh no. Oh no. All for one is terrible. For once, I completely agree with you, All Might. Frick you! No, All Might! Come on, All Might, pull yourself together. You have to. You have to. The whole world is watching. Good. Rally him. Win! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Oh. I am officially done with this series. I am done. I cannot deal with this. I cannot deal with this. <laughs> Go on, my! Go on, my! <laughs> I'm literally done. Grand Torino, you are big. <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm literally. What power? Holy cripes! Oh boy. Is this gonna come to a punch out? He's putting like everything into it. Whoa! No! Thank you! Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, please don't die. No way! Are you serious? <gasps> oh no! How did you know? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared right now. Oh no! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> no! Oh my! Oh 
die, please don't die. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <gasps> he miscalculated. <laughs> oh wow! Oh no! Oh my gosh! He's doing, he's doing like what Azuku did. First off, I just, I have to open the window. It is, it is way too hot in here. There was too much that happened. And now I am sweating like a gosh darn pig. That was freaking amazing. And just, just give me a second. Ugh, that's much better. Okay. Now that I can finally cool down, I can go over what my thoughts were on that episode. 
Like, where do I even start? There's so much in there that was, if, if ever a way for a hero to go out in a blaze of glory, it be this. It was this episode right here. Oh my gosh, I'm amazed I even have a voice after that. In fact, my voice sounds better than it did before. The power of my hero academia, woo! But legitimately, I'm serious. That episode, well, oh my gosh, that was freaking, freaking amazing, freaking stellar. Like, I was completely wrong about this episode. I was 100% positive it was gonna be down low, and chill, and all that sort of stuff. No, it was not. It was the opposite. It was freaking, oh my gosh. I'm running out of words to even say about the show and how awesome these moments are because what can you say? You're just repeating yourself by the time you reach this point. It was awesome, great animation, fantastic music. And then like the emotions that just get dragged out of you in these scenes is just overwhelming. Um, and I know I was like going ballistic there and some of you will probably be cringing the entire video, but like, I, I can't, I can't hold it in. That was just so cool. That was awesome. I didn't think that, I really didn't think All Might was able, would be able to do it. I thought that he was going to die right there, but he didn't. He went, he literally went beyond plus ultra and wiped all for one out. Like, as All For One said, All Might already passed on the torch. He's just using the remaining embers of One For All. And I didn't, I wasn't really even aware of that. It makes sense that it was like dimming down the fires and stuff. But the fact that All Might was still so powerful, I guess it never occurred to me that this is just the fumes of All For One. And the fact that he was in a weaker state this time. He was in a weaker state than he was the last time that he fought All For One. Where he failed the time before, like he almost got him killed and stuff, but where he failed the time before, he was able to somehow dig in the deepest part of him and channel every piece of energy, every inch of, every fiber of his being, of its energy into that final flow. I, uh, yay! I'm really sad though, because that means we saw the fire go out at the end, which means we're not going to get to see any more battles from All Might. His days as a hero are over now, and now it's Midoriya's turn to take up the mantle, and I'm assume, I'm assuming go against, you know, Tomra. I honestly thought, I didn't think that all for one would be taken out. I thought that, you know, like he was going to be the great evil in the end that Izuku has to face, but that just makes me question how much stronger Tomura is going to get. Because essentially his, the same thing, his master got taken out by the heroes that he hates. So Tomura is Shimura's, she was, he was her grandson. So that makes me even more curious about his story, um, like where his parents went and if they were the thing that was the accident or if it was because when Tomura met One For All, like he didn't look like he was, you know, injured or anything. He didn't look like he was dead, like after he just fought All Might. Um, granted, the timeline of everything sort of like it's hard to read exactly, uh, to know when everything was, but all the things that we already know, maybe you guys can clear it up in the timeline for me. So I wonder if, um, I wonder if Tomura's grandmother dying, the previous one for all owner, I wonder if that was the incident that, you know, all for one mentioned. I wonder if that was the whole thing of why Tomura ended up on his own. But since it's his grandson, or her grandson, you know, what happened to her, his parents. Maybe that was the incident. Um, I don't know at this point in time, and I'm sure we'll find out in the future. All I know is that look on All Might's face when he found out, like, that was a devastated look. And All For One really is cruel. For, like, that might be one of the only reasons that he recruited, you know, little Tomura, because he knew that would be the one person that All Might would really 
like that would really get All Might upset like on the inside and it's understandable that All Might would get upset and why he had a hard time beating him before just because like yeah your your mentor's grandson and you know you're you're saying all these bad things about his mentor and everything I would get mad at that too and it was a good thing Gran Torino was there to sort of like you know even him out and be like hey hey this is what happened last time you have to focus you have to you know not get carried away in your emotions you have to focus and think about this logically otherwise you know you'll end up defeated because he was weaker this time it's actually kind of funny because you guys mentioned or i mentioned in the last episode that i like how all of all might smashes are all like you know countries and cities united states of smash man that was I'm, that was, that will take some time to get over, because that was just, shh. My brain's like all over the walls. Everyone saw All Might's weaker side, you know, what he actually looks like underneath that giant, you know, heroic pose, the symbol of peace, but he still demonstrated why he is the symbol of peace, even despite that, because it's true, you know, like your stature doesn't change who you are inside and who All Might was inside is the symbol of peace. That's what he wanted to be, the pillar of heroes everywhere. Um, and I can see why she would pass on her quirk to him. Like, young Toshinori showed a lot of pride and a lot of, you know, passion for it. He was like Azuku. Like, I, the parallels between the two are kind of like absolutely crazy because, you know, they were so similar in a lot of ways. I'm gonna make a weird comparison here and probably tick off some people in the crowd, but um, the, the whole part where they were cheering for All Might and everything, I don't know why, but I got crazy Digimon flashbacks, like back to the first Digimon, where, you know, Ty and all of them had to save the Digiworld at the very end, or the, yeah, the Digiworld at the very end. Like, that's what that reminded me of, and it's a weird comparison, I know, but um, just the power in numbers sometimes, man, is, unbelievable and I'm sure like he couldn't even hear him but he knew that they were out there cheering for him even Gran Torino was like mentioning that as well and that soundtrack that played oh my good gravy golly ghibli bluebus gosh that was that was just really powerful like I'm pretty sure that Yuki is still the one who is composing these and if so like doing a fantastic job and where can I buy the next album, like, right now, because I really want it. But, you know, this leaves a lot of questions for the future, um, such as, since All Might's gone now, like, is he going to, you know, publicly announce that Izuku is now his successor? Like, or is Izuku just going to go out there and do it? And that is a heavy burden to bear, like, Toshinori looked like he was at least a young adult when he got his you know, his power from Shimura. But Deku, he's still in high school, man. Like, and now, like, the entire world will be looking at him. That's a lot of pressure for one kid. And if it was anyone other than Deku, I think that they would probably snap under that pressure. It's a good thing that, you know, Izuku does have all of these friends around him to support him. Sort of like All Might, even though he was, you know, the symbol of peace, the pillar of hope. He still had people like Endeavor and Edshot and Grand Torino and all these around him helping him out. Because it's true, like, you can't do anything alone. You're better, you're stronger as a team. We're all stronger together when we unite as one. And it's good that even though they're young, you know, Zuku has all these good friends, good powerful friends surrounding him because that means that he'll be more successful. Such as like in the last episode, we saw that they all rescued Bakugo not as one, but as a team. I really doubt if any one of them had been there by themselves that they would have been able to get Bakugo out in time or, you know, even escape at all. So I love that the this show really builds on team dynamics and team foundations and, you know, you're stronger together type scenario. You know, All Mart's power is gone now, so I wonder if he's gonna like go into retirement or go into hiding or if he's gonna remain a coach or a teacher at UA. Um, I'd imagine that all of those, you know, like, 
hiding away doesn't seem like All Might, even though he's powerless now. But it also makes me a little worried because now that he doesn't have any powers, you know, we're gonna eventually see his death. I'm positive of that. But how soon is it going to be? You know, unless All for One escapes, which I'm, it's gonna be hard to hold him down because he has so many quirks within him. I don't know, unless they have a razor head on him for 24 7, I don't know how they're gonna keep him contained because that punch obviously didn't kill him, but that did, was enough to like at least knock him out. So either he's going to escape on his own, or you know, Tomer is going to send in a rescue party after him. Which I could see happening, because in the same way that Izuku would go in after All Might if he got captured, I don't see that Tomura would not try something to get him back. Especially because it seems that he really does care about him. So, you know, either one of those could end up killing All Might. It'll probably be Tomura, just because then it will cement him as you know Izuku's rival his ultimate enemy that he has to defeat and who have a reason to do it and if that happens we may even see some like dark Deku some inner rage you know that he may have to struggle to work through and control and learn to get over it like All Might had to do when Shimura was killed or you know I could be completely wrong and All Might could just live out his days happily and you know go to a to a retirement home and die happily. I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> I definitely, this definitely makes All Might my absolute favorite hero now though. Besides, you know, Deku and all that, but just him, just All Might himself. Toshinori, just Toshinori himself is a hero in my eyes. The greatest hero of them all probably, in fact, in the show. Just because he gave everything he had you know he was he was dealing with the trauma of finding out that Tomoro was Shimura's grandson you know he was dealing with being over his limit and you know about to die because all for one literally threw almost everything he had at him but despite that knowing everyone was watching him knowing that he you know he wanted to be a symbol of peace that last that one dream in his heart he used that to push him further than he's ever gone before, and and I know it's an anime, I know it's a show, but just like, I, I'm shaking right now, look at this. I'm, I'm not doing this, this is literally me shaking. I am, it's just unbelievable, and I cannot just, uh Guys, I mean, you're right, you're totally right. How am I gonna survive season three if, you know, I nearly barely survived this one? I'm gonna have to like get even more space and like find some way that I can sit but not sit and be able to play all freely about and visually die on camera though I'm pretty sure I already did that just now I think I'm down to like nine cat lives at this point I had a whole bunch more I've died a lot trust me guys but um yeah I, I that I don't know how I'm going to hold on to those other cat lives so like I gotta give a huge kudos to Yuki and the sound developers the sound designers and the animators like that animation was absolutely breathtaking. It was amazing. And this will, I can't wait. Ah, uh, you know what I really can't wait to do? I can't wait to watch this on my big stereo surround sound that my dad just set up, like, on full blast. I think that'll be the coolest thing ever because then you can really feel the power of everything. Um, and I had my volume turned way up and that was powerful enough. So just imagine how that's gonna feel. Um, maybe I'll throw in, a little reaction of that on Twitter uh, as a little addition but um, yeah this this was just an amazing episode and the writing was spectacular flawless I just I have nothing else to say about this show I've said everything I can at this point um, besides you know this episode really went plus beyond ultra I'm actually really glad that the you know the townspeople when they found out about All Might's true form you know they weren't like they were like oh at first I thought they were going to, you know, that's why that's why I was kind of like freaking out, but, you know, they ended up not. They ended up actually rallying him, you know, like, and then that one lady said, you know, just because he looks different, isn't he still the same All Might? Which is completely true. So it was nice that he got the back of all of the people, all the crowd, you know, supporting him and everything. Because um, sometimes, you know, sometimes we all need a little boost, and I think that definitely seemed to have, uh, you know, been able to give him that extra punch that he needed. 
I know they're probably going to see it on replay, even if they didn't see it live. But I wonder if uh, All for One sent them, like, either back to the bar or I don't know where he sent them. But I wonder if Tomura saw it, saw that happen to him. Because if so, he's going to be pretty ticked. Like, he's going to be shaking with anger. I wouldn't even be surprised if he accidentally, you know, vaporizes one of his allies just because of he's so angry. Um, although we have seen, you know, he's dealt with anger decently before, but at the same time, you know, like, he hasn't. Like, with the whole Bakugo situation, he seemed pretty level-headed, even though, you know, Bakugo was getting all, blah, 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 I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna escape this place, I don't want to be a hero, I want to be like All Might. But um, he stayed calm in that situation, but then, of course, like, in Season 1, where... You know, he was losing against All Might. He was starting to have that t childish temper tantrum of, Oh, why can't I win? Everything was going like I planned, but it didn't end up like how I planned. I got false information, that type of thing. So, this is more on a personal level, so I do think that he will be pretty upset about it. Um, but what he does about it will be interesting to see. And if he is the one who kills All Might, I'm just... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cry. I'm literally probably going to ball my eyes out in that episode if we have to see it. Um, I don't want to think about that, but that's, that's probably far in the future, so I'm not gonna worry about that now. We got this episode. We had some awesome moments, and yeah. But yeah, um, now more than ever, Zuku is definitely going to need his friends by his side to help him out through this because he's got a lot of responsibility now falling on his shoulders. But I know just like All Might, he will, he'll find a way to do it. He's already dealt with people like Muscular, he's fought off Todoroki, you know, he's done a lot of great things. So I think he should be okay. Like, obviously, he's not going to die in the series. Because uh, that would defeat the whole purpose of him telling a story about how he became the greatest hero. Unless this is all just him telling, you know, his grandchildren or the next all-for-one successor on his deathbed. That would be kind of sad actually if the series ended like that but yeah guys that is all for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it even despite the fact that i'm sick if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like down below let me know what you think in the comments um follow me on my social media check me out on patreon and as always guys i'll see you in the next video that we do around here peace guys What a hero.